up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Whiskey Happens. We got a new series that we're going to do for you guys. Gary, what's that series called? For everybody to keep an eye out for, this is going to be something that we like or possibly celebrate, I don't know, to be determined. And we just want to share with you guys of things that we're looking at when we're not talking about whatever unicorns we're trying to find, hunt, uh, coax you into sending us or something like that. Um, just things that we're, we do drink other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we so. drink, we try a lot of other things too. And, um, I think this is a really great segment because I think a lot of people get overwhelmed when they go to liquor stores and they see the same thing and they see people talking about the same thing. So they go in and I was talking to our local liquor store the other day and he was like, yeah, every, every day someone comes in and goes, do you have the Blantons? Do you have any Weller? And it's like, those are great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but they're becoming harder and harder to find. And it's, there are other bourbons out there that are amazing. And so um, I'll kick us off. And what I am drinking on right now is Penelope. Um, now this one is a little different. There's a big lineup of Penelope. You can find all different types. Um, this is a barrel strength that um, was a special blend Um I got really excited about 44 month age, um, batch number seven. It comes in at 115 proof. Um, this is the first time I'm actually trying this. And on the nose, it's real floral. So you have that real kind of floral. And then you get that sweetness, it's super sweet at 115 proof, which is pretty awesome. So. Yeah, so definitely you get that kind of punch of 115, which is awesome, which I like, um, especially if it's smooth. So it's super smooth. It's got, um, I don't know if you can see the color, but it, it's got that real good amber color in it. Um, I really like this. Um, Gary, you actually picked up a Penelope too, correct? When we were in New Orleans. Yeah, I picked up the uh, regular 80 proof, Yep. Um, which I did enjoy. It's real light and refreshing uh perfect for summertime i i know that or i didn't know how big the penelope lineup is i've seen other people talk about some of the bottles yeah. and when i saw it in louisiana i had to grab it just because it's not uh here in the dmv area but uh i want to say there was a some type of finish there was a i can't remember there was like some type of port cast chardonnay something yeah version that was in the store when i picked up the 80 proof yeah i mean this one is really awesome i mean this comes out of bartstown kentucky so you you're getting that bartstown kentucky type flavor out of it i will say with the barrel strength um you really really do get kind of that um buttery finish right at the end which is amazing um actually really like this i don't think i could drink this all day because i would be on the floor at uh, 115 proof, but definitely something um, I could drink, you know, having dinner and then move to something else later in the night. Um, yeah, really like this one. So if, if you guys can find the barrel strength, uh, great. Um, you might not be able to just go try one of the other ones. Um, ask your local people at the store which Penelope they recommend. Um, but uh, this is my first that I owned i've tried a bunch of the other ones um so yeah really excited about that gary what do you have you got that local in the dallas area i got it at my boys lick king <laughs> so yeah you know, my guys there never go wrong they never push me in the wrong direction so really excited about that um i bought this one a little while ago um and uh, just hadn't cracked it open just because i was kind of waiting for us to do this and so um really excited about this probably gonna drink this tonight Okay. Well, then mine takes me back to Louisiana, kind of in the story um, of how this came to be. It's, it's Cooper's Craft, okay. uh, which is a brown foreman product. So if you're an old Forester person, uh, Woodford, Jack Daniels uh, person, that's the same people that make this. Uh, I'm simplifying the story, but basically they added this to the lineup, letting their Cooper's design a bourbon 
Uh, this is the 100 proof version. There is a, another one I don't have or never have had. But I originally saw this in Louisiana uh, when we were out there. And it was like for 30 bucks or something like that. And I almost picked it up then just because um, it's 30 bucks. Here it's $40. And uh, when I came home, I went to go look at it. And I was like, oh, I missed out. However, I was recently on another trip uh, to Oklahoma and they sell it for $27. And I was like, this is the moment. I have to buy it now. Yeah. Just get it. Um, but it, it's it's a tasty drink. You know, it's not entry level high test, as Brad would say. What's it coming in at? 100 proof. Oh, 100 proof. No age statement that I remember. But I want to say it's somewhere between four or six years. It is. I, I think I think you're right. Um, I recently saw someone else post something about Cooper's Craft, um, and I'm actually interested in trying to find a bottle. It's not readily available here in Texas that I've found, um, but I think if I find a bottle, I'm the same way as you are. I'm going to put my hands on that one too because um, I'm excited to try that one. So, so what's it? What's the what? Are, what are you getting on the taste there, Garrett? On the nose, there's definitely I what I would now describe as chocolate. Yeah. We know that I struggle with that. <laughs> um, leather, citrus, um, and like faint, faint oak. Okay. Um, which also could just be me. Yeah. And then on the pilot, it's like. Almost, almost cotton candy-ish, but definitely apples. Like it reminds me of a carnival in my mouth. Like if okay. you think about all the sweet flavors at a carnival, like that's what's going on here. Uh, cinnamon, vanilla. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then like a cinnamon finish. That's awesome. So it, does it have a little bit of spice to it at the end or no? Is it kind of smooth at the end? A little bit of spice. I mean, I would just like, like a, uh, I forget the name of that chewing gum, but there's a big red. Your mint? Big red. Yeah. 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 It's like that feeling in your mouth after you spit out big red in a positive way. Okay. But you know, like big red definitely lingers on your palate, even though you're yeah. done chewing it. Yeah. I would say that's what's going on here. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I can't wait to try that. I, I'm really excited about this, actually. And so when you come, I'm, I, we're going to try this. But we're going to have to let it sit. So I let it sit. And as you guys can tell throughout the video, I'm, I'm kind of twirling it and I'm smelling it. You know, because things change as it open, starts to open up. Mm -hmm. And it is so damn smooth. Now, all of a sudden, at first it was a little, it got that, you know, it's 115, you first crack it open, it's got that bite. Um, but it's so smooth. I mean, it kind of smells like um, it's starting to get that caramelly smell to it now, which is really awesome. And I think it's because it's opening up a little bit. Yeah. But um, that's really, that's really good. Like, I'm, I'm actually really excited about this one now. Well, looks like I have to go to Liquor Kings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, that, I mean, I think, you know, like we talked about, at the beginning um you know try different things go to different go to your store local stores ask them what's new on the shelf what's different out there um don't get me wrong if there's a weller sitting on the shelf or uh a blanton's or any uh, an eagle rare any of those if it's at cost or msrp go ahead and pick it up but also look for some of these other ones that maybe aren't as well known um, and give them a try, especially if it's your mash bill, your flavor profile, your proof kind of range. Um, try them. You know, um, 115 is not my proof range. My proof range, like I've always said, is between 95 to 105. That's my sweet spot. Um, but I wanted to try this because I've heard good things about Penelope in general. And um, the guy at the store was just like, hey, you got to try this. This is really good. Um, and they don't come out with barrel strength very often. Kind of like Gary was saying it, 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 a lot of their stuff comes in at 80, 90 proof. So, um, 
definitely give that one a try if you can find it. Uh, if Even if you can't find that one, try one of the Penelope brands. I don't think you'll be wrong uh, in trying it. I don't think you'll dislike it. Um, so, and then Gary, any last comments about yours? Yeah, I think it's just fun to explore. Like I said, this one, let's say from Oklahoma to Virginia varies in price from 27 to $40. However, I think that's still a very approachable price for exploring Yeah, and just learning different things. I drink Woodford Reserve. I also picked up a store pick of Woodford, uh, which you will probably see me discuss in a different video. So I already knew I liked their brands. Travis and I talk about Old Forster a lot. Yep. Uh, so it wasn't a big jump for me or a big risk for me, I guess. It was just uh, timing, really. And this time it worked out because I got a, a great deal. So if Anyone's ever at Byron's Liquor in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, uh, they have it for a great price. Awesome. All right. Well, that'll do it for uh, this episode. Wait, wait, wait. Travis. What? They need to hit the like button. Well, they need to the subscribe button. They need to subscribe. And that's right. You know what? We forget this every time and it's because we just love bourbon and we want to talk to you guys um and tell you about what we what we're drinking on but um you know it'd be great really appreciated hit that subscribe button help us out um get the notifications when, when our new videos are released we're trying to actually put out more content and trying to do um you know a couple different videos a week if we can so um really want to get as much information out to you guys as possible but um really appreciate this uh, fam here and gary take us home before i do that let us know in the comments if you like us covering this stuff and some other bourbons you may want us to cover perhaps it's on travis's back shelf already yeah <laughs> or if you want us to if like gary said if you want us to do that or if you have one in particular, you guys think we need to pick up and try, let us know because we're always open for new stuff. So yeah. we, you know, if I, if it's not here and I can't get it, it's probably where Gary is and Gary can try it. So, you know, one of us can find it and, 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 and try that out. So definitely remember, it doesn't matter if you like a neat on the rocks or in a fucking Coke whiskey happens. Cheers. Cheers everybody.